It's Thursday morning. Welcome to morning prayer. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 146 Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. As long as I have any being, I will sing praises to my God. Put not your trust in princes, nor in any human power, for there is no help in them. When their breath goes forth, they return to the earth. On that day, all their thoughts perish. Happy are those who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, who keeps his promise forever, who gives justice to those that suffer wrong and bread to those who hunger. The Lord looses those that are bound the Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the stranger in the land. He upholds the orphan and widow. But the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of the covenant. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. Thus says God, who created the heavens, who fashioned the earth and all that dwells in it, who gives breath to the people upon it, and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord, and I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the captives from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. I have given you as a light to the nations, and I have called you in righteousness. We're reading 1 Timothy chapter 4. Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will renounce the faith by paying attention to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons, through the hypocrisy of liars whose consciences are seared with a hot iron. They forbid marriage and demand abstinence from foods which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good and nothing is to be rejected, provided it is received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by God's word and by prayer. If you put these instructions before the brothers and sisters, you will be a good servant of Jesus Christ, nourished on the words of the faith, and of the sound teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with profane myths and old wives' tales. Train yourself in godliness, for while physical training is of some value, godliness is valuable in every way, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance. To this end we toil and struggle, because we have our hopes set on the living God, who is the saviour of all people, 
especially of those who believe. These are the things you must insist on and teach. Let no one despise your youth, but set the believers an example in speech and conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Until I arrive, give attention to the public reading of scripture, to exhorting, to teaching. Do not neglect the gift that is in you, which was given to you through prophecy and the laying on of hands by the council of elders. Put these things into practice, devote yourself to them, so that all may see your progress. Pay close attention to yourself and to your teaching. Continue in these things, for in doing this, you will save both yourself and your hearers. Here ends the reading. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. I have called you by name. You are mine. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. The Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And so let us pray. Lord, that this day may be holy, good and joyful, let us pray to the Lord. Father God, as we go forward into another day, we pray for your protection around us. We pray that you would guide our steps, that we would walk in the ways of righteousness. Father God, we pray for the stories from around our world that are causing news headlines today. Father, we pray for our local government and for our community leaders. We pray for the organisations who provide local services. And we pray for our schools, colleges and universities. We pray for the students, the teachers and the auxiliary staff. Father, we pray for our emergency and rescue organisations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>